entering Ainsley Association. Everything seems to be intact. <clears throat> the hurricane made landfall this morning at 3 a.m. at Vero Beach. So that's about oh, 70, 80 miles north of Boca Raton. So we escaped the main fury of it. There's a small bit of debris on their sidewalk. Now we're entering Century Village's third largest association with 430 units. It's Brighton. <coughs> and we'll take a little ride through their parking lot. This is Brighton F. This is Cornwall Drive, a palm frond, and we're heading all the way down to the north end of Cornwall Drive. Going past Cornwall Satellite Pool now. It's 6.36 a.m just a little bit after dawn. There's another palm frond in the road, Cornwall Drive. sun comes up you see the royal palms on either side Cornwall Drive makes a nice picture they seem to have been all right another palm frond down in the road this is Dorset E and F parking lot in front of us is Dorset F Set E on the right, door set D, just some light twigs and leaves on the ground here. That's the door set satellite pool. Nothing significant in Dorset Association as far as damage or fallen branches. Entering Exeter Association. This association in the past has gotten a reputation for being Tornado Alley. One of the few times where a roof was taken down or taken off happened in Exeter. This was uh, before I was here. I think it was Wilma. And as we come down Exeter Drive, 
between the royal palms, you can see at least three palm fronds on either side of the roadway. There's another one. As we head around the Exeter Association satellite pool. I haven't seen any uh, down trees. Oops, here's another palm frond on the ground. And even another one over here. This is Exeter Association, which I don't know whether it's its location or just luck, has always seemed to bear the brunt of these storms. And now we're at the Fanshore parking lot, past the L building. At 15 buildings, this is Century Village Boca Raton's largest association. I think they have 633 units approximately. Maybe 630 is the number, I think. <clears throat> This is the uh, Fanshawe K, and we're just taking a tour of their parking lot. You don't seem to see any fallen branches or debris. seems to be clean and green. Oh, finally, a palm frond. And this is in the Fanshawe parking lot, very close to Century Village Boulevard. And that's about the extent of the so-called hurricane damage. Let's continue our loop. Now going by Fanshawe O, Fanshawe N. Got a beautiful sky this morning over Boca Raton. Hoping to get the pools open today. The clubhouse and Buses were shut down yesterday, as were the 16 satellite pools. It looks like today might be a winner. So this has been Fred Hadley reporting for the Village Century. This is Guilford Association, where I see some bark from this royal palm. We go around Guilford Drive, around the satellite pool. It's now sunrise in Boca Raton. Some light debris on the side of the road here. <clears throat> Very 
turning now into height association. This is the smallest association in Century Village with three buildings and I believe around 220 units. Here we have Palm Fron on Hythe Drive, right next to the satellite pool, at the entrance to the B building. There's another one in the parking lot to the C building. This is Lincoln Association, another three building association. I used to call this the House of Blues. It was once painted a fairly dark blue color. Now you can still see some vestiges. There's a little bit of debris on Lincoln Drive by the satellite pool. Some bark. This is Lincoln Drive. This is Newcastle. Another three building association. light debris near the satellite pool. Some more fronds, leaves, whatever you want to call them. This is a new castle satellite pool, some more debris here, we go past the pool house, light debris on the roadside, nothing to write home about folks, so if you're watching this up north, fear not, Century Village lives on. This is Preston Association and to our left is Suffolk. Both of these are three-story buildings. So we'll take a, a ride down their parking lot here of Preston Association. And the view is east uh, as the sun continues to rise over Boca Raton. You can see that the Preston parking lot is devoid of any, any fallen branches or debris. If we loop around, uh, there's Preston C on the right. Preston D. This is Rexford Association, the last of the three building associations, and we can see their main drive, 
their only drive is well littered with palm tree debris. Rexford has been the scene of recent political upheaval. It doesn't seem as though the weather has done too much. wood chips or stones. I guess it's stones. I guess they're doing some uh, landscaping here. As you go around the bend, Rexford Satellite Pool. Seems okay here. This is Mansfield. Jay and I were going through their parking lot. This is Century Village's second largest association, but almost 600 units scattered among 14 buildings. Don't seem to have any palm trees here, so I guess we won't be seeing any fronds in the Mansfield parking lot. Mansfield Drive, everything seems to be intact. And we'll just continue down to the end here. So by and large, it appears that Century Village Boca Raton has emerged unscathed, just some light debris, palm fronds and bark, I haven't seen any evidence of any structural damage or vehicle damage. This is Wolverton Drive, Wolverton Association, and they have palm trees, they don't seem as tall as some of the others. Very pretty nevertheless. And Wolverton Drive seems clean as a whistle. Some light debris on the sidewalk there. satellite pool. We go around the bend here. Wow, this, this association is almost untouched. Just a tiny bit of debris on the sidewalk over here. That's all I can see. This is Wolverton Drive. This is Yarmouth. We head up Yarmouth Drive. More Royal Palms.
like Wolverton, it seems like nothing has happened here. Both Wolverton and Yarmouth are considered religious communities here because of their proximity to the temple. So who knows? Maybe there's some protection from above. But this Yarmouth Drive is absolutely unblemished. This is Fanshawe K, and now we're passing the J building, going through their parking lot. Seems very clean.